obviously, you know, it's, it's the type of loss that few people can understand. And the fact that you guys are able to talk about his life, talk about his legacy, I'm going to ask you a couple questions about that in a second. But obviously a lot of strength to be able to maintain what you guys have maintained now through the years. What causes that? How have you guys been able to do that? Well, we're both Christians. We both believe in God. So therefore, uh, we just went to scriptures a lot and believed God for what we wanted to happen. And that, and read, read the Bible a lot. And that was very positive. And that kept me encouraged and motivated and continuing to pray and knowing that people, uh, family, friends, other churches were continuing to keep Morgan in their prayers. So I was just moved by uh, uh, the supernatural, the the wanting, all of that that goes with reading the Bible and being spiritual. So that helped me a lot. That's just what I did. That's where I went. And uh, we prayed every day for the situation. So a lot of prayers. Well, I want to talk about, and obviously to go to those places of, of what's happened here lately, but... For those people that didn't know Morgan, what is he like? It, it, explain him, describe him, you know, to the people who didn't get the joy of meeting him, his personality, that sort of thing, uh, just so that we can kind of paint a picture. Oh, Mor Morgan was a very intelligent young man. He, 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 and he loved to have fun. He loved to help people. He was very musically oriented. He played several instruments, you know, and sang the choir and was always trying to write and sing and I think he, he thought he was a little more of a singer than I did. But mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, he was he was musically inclined. And uh he was always trying to uh help people. He went to uh he went to church. He was always involved in church either in Terre Haute or uh in Indianapolis. So and he was always trying to he he would get involved in helping with um children's ministries and he helped with the, sh the shelter and things like that so he was very giving and very helpful so that's what I like to say about him sure and, and how would you describe well mostly the way she did you know I, uh, Morgan uh, uh, he was he was a he was a happy young man he, you know he, he liked to fit in you know and you know, did, did his best to, you know, to fit in and to make friends and uh, and and he made a lot of friends, and you know he was like I said he was extremely intelligent young man. You know, uh, liked to read a lot. Gave him a book this thick, he'd have it read for you in in one night. You know, and tell you everything that's in it. You know, and, you know, and uh, and he he wanted to do a lot of things with me. You know, and you know he'd say, Dad, we need to go do this. Take me fishing. You know, <laughs> of course I was busy a lot of those times, and I wish I wasn't as busy as I was. You know, so we so we could have done more of those things. But he was, a, he was a great son, you know, we loved him, you know. And obviously parents always don't see the eye to eye with their children, you know, but, but, uh, but he was a good Christian young man. And I want to say he loved his family and he'd always call all of us, his aunts and uncles, and tell us he loved us and constantly be in touch with us and family and sisters, you know. So he, he wasn't perfect, but, you know, he was a joy to Absolutely. 